Welcome again, everyone, to TNS Radio Ireland, Tirnasar, Land of the Free. You are listening to Mike Montagna on Mathematically Perfected Economy and Absolute Consensual Representation. I am the original 1968 author of the now vastly imitated and compromised theses that any purported economy subject to interest inherently and inevitably fails under perpetually escalated and thus ultimately terminal sums of artificial debt. That there is one and one only integral solution to the categoric faults of the present lie of economy, which solution for some 40 years now we have called mathematically perfected economy. And thirdly, that there is one and one only prescription for justly transforming today's purported banking systems into mathematically perfected economy, not only immediately, but even virtually without cost. In 1983 and 4, I provided computer models to the Reagan administration, which accurately projected that the aforesaid cause of terminal failure would manifest in the present global failure at approximately 2010 AD. In 1979, I provided the Reagan campaign with a singular prescription for rectifying the present obfuscation of our currency, establishing a fact of mathematically perfected economy not only in as little as a day, but even virtually without cost. Thus we have a cause of inevitable failure which can only be averted by an actual perfection of economy. For some 40 years, too, we have had that solution in my 1968 prescription for mathematically perfected economy. And since 1979, we could have established mathematically perfected economy in as little as a day and entirely without the costs of the present pretentious procedures. A wiser humanity, therefore, might finally listen, even carefully enough, that we may teach each other, that we may accomplish now what a wiser humanity will inevitably accomplish, that we may dissolve what are no more than systems of exploitation imposed by the very denial of representation which set into motion the present crimes against us. Mike Montagna on Mathematically Perfected Economy and Absolute Consensual Representation is broadcast regularly at 1 p.m. Pacific Time, 9 p.m. UTC from TNS Radio Ireland, Tirnasar, Land of the Free. Please visit tnsradio.com for program schedules and archives. Previous introductory programs should be listened to in order as introductory material provides a vital background for what follows. Archives of this program are available from tnsradio.com under the category Mike Montagna and from the domain perfectediteconomy.org. Original material, analyses, and solution, as always, are copyright and trademarked by yours truly, Mike Montagna. All rights reserved. In today's presentation, I'm going to dissect contradicting propositions by Congressional Representatives Ron Paul and Dennis Kucinich. Dennis Kucinich introduces a a bill in December which he calls the NEED Act. Congressman Paul, on the other hand, in accord with a perpetual serial of ever-unqualified Austrian dogma, reasserts his perpetual proposition that ostensibly competing currencies can somehow solve the problems before us. Neither of these congressional 
representatives provide comprehensive qualifications of how these so-called bills are to accomplish their objects. Nor are the objects proven themselves to be objects which serve us, much less best serve the common objects of all people. Now, the problem here is that we are a republic, each country of the world most of the countries of the world are republics today, not democracies as people are constantly saying we are republics. And the issue in a republic, of course, is representation, the very purpose of a republic or a republican form of government is representation. And so these matters are vital that we introduce bills or propositions without qualifying their objects, without proving that their objects are the objects which serve the common good, and without proving likewise that the ostensible means of the bill or proposition of accomplishing those objects indeed, in fact, can only secure those objects in the most just and efficient way, then we are denying ourselves representation. We have fallen in, in, in many ways from the principles which preserve republics, from the principles which the only principles which accomplish the objects of republics. And one way that we as people have done so is, is we have condescended to the demeaned stature where we think that we should support something if somehow, just somehow, it seems like it might serve us or that it might be better than another thing. And this demeaning disposition is destructive, therefore, um, to the objects of a republic because it's divisive. Instead of splintering off untowardly, with every whim that may seem on some emotional or uh, partially, par partially rational uh, prospect to better serve us, we, we, we will always fail to unite, we will always fail to achieve the objects which the only objects which indeed do serve our our common purposes because we are splintering off to lesser things constantly and this is particularly destructive in regard to the development of veritable monetary thesis a uh, thesis which could serve us, something which I advocate has existed for 40 years in my proposition of mathematically perfected economy, which is so imitated across the world now, and particularly is recognized in its many, many, many imitations to be valid insofar as its proposition that purported money cannot be subject to interest. So this much has been proven 
<clears throat> um, and recognized. But the further things that this proposition of mathematically perfected economy prove are vital for us to understand because they they establish a fact of one and one only monetary solution. Now, if we set about compromising that ostensibly because uh, perhaps we think that other representatives uh, may be less inclined to go the full route of representation, what we're actually condescending to is a fact that denies us representation. By compromising principle, we always deviate from representation. The only basis for unity, in fact, is the quest, the like quest, shared by all, inherently, to establish facts which truly, truly represent us. And so, to do this, to accomplish an object that is in the common good of all, uh, 